We now take a look at damage in Carteret County from a different view. WNCT's Bailey Martin got a unique opportunity to get an up close look at the first phase of Hurricane Florence recovery there. She joins us live from Moorhead City with more. Bailey. Today I went out on a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers survey ship. These surveyors are responsible for making sure that coastal waters are safe for boats to travel in and to bring needed supplies back to the coast. The Beaufort is one of the many survey ships that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers operates. We go out in a boat with a sounder and we go out and take, uh, take the, the, the best soundings and get the best data we can possibly get. So, uh, for purpose and navigation. The surveyors on board are responsible for checking the level of sand on the bottom of the ocean. The area that we reside in is uh, really dynamic. The sand shoals are always shifting. Nothing stays where it's supposed to stay, I guess. And uh, um, it doesn't take but a, a, a small blow to, to shift a sand shoal into navigable water. This is important because without their work, ships could run aground. We have three ships offshore right now waiting to get to the port. After that, we'll start doing the smaller channels. That's all the waterways. So uh, the, the ships actually, the captain of the port, once the ports are closed, it can be thousands. That's thousands of ships that can't gain access to the shore. Even ships carrying necessary supplies to help facilitate recovery on the coast. We can get the ships that's waiting offshore into the state port. Uh, the Coast Guard will not let them come in until we go out and clear the channel for them to come in. Captain Guthrie told me that because this storm lasted so long, this is the first time in the 39 years that he's captained the Beaufort that they haven't been able to get the ship back in the water the day after the storm. Live in Moorhead City, Bailey Martin, 9 on your side.